So now we are actually going to write some code and send some API requests to Bedrock. And uh, to do so, we need to set up AWS command line interface. And we also need to add our credentials there in order to be able to access our models. So how to do this? You should go to our security credentials. And here you'll see a lot of stuff, but what is needed now is the access keys so you can see i have zero access keys so i need to create one because this is a brand new account and so here there are different use cases and i'm going to select a local code because i'm going to write some local code and let's create our access key Again, I'm going to download CSV file, uh, just do not forget this one. And then I'm going to hit done. So now I need to add my uh, access key here. And I already have AWS uh, command line interface installed. If you don't have it, then you can just refer to this tutorial, how to install it on your operation system. So it's... Uh, instructions for Linux, uh, Mac or Windows, choose whatever works for you. Then you can just do uh, these steps and you will have this AWS uh, command line installed. So in order to set up it locally, after you install your uh, command line interface, uh, you can run AWS configure and it's going to ask you about your AWS access key ID and you need to copy it from the CSV file uh, you downloaded. Hope you've done so. And then it's going to ask you for an access key. And remember, do not show it to anyone. And then your region. In my case, it's US East 1. And that's it and if you want to check which profile you're currently using you can run this aws configure list command and it will show you your uh, credentials of your current account and this is the correct one i'm checking because i have multiple and you can also run aws configure list profiles and it will show you uh, all the profiles and now when you finish this your setup you can also check if it works if you go here to our prompt examples uh, this is a simple one that we used so uh, what you can do you can go here to these examples and uh, hit the copy in this aws uh, command line tab and then i just paste it here in your console and if you are getting this error as I'm getting, it means that your AWS uh, command line interface is outdated and you need to update it. So in order to upgrade it, uh, just run these comments from the official documentation. And that's what I'm going to do. Now we can check the version and let's try to run our prompt again. It takes some time and then we are getting the output. It means that we are successfully connected to the AWS and we can continue our development.